It is Friday night. Once again, welcome to the Midnight Man with Jane Zander. In episode 6, we are going to feature two more stories for your entertainment. So sit back and enjoy. Good evening, and welcome. Right now we're gonna go straight into the first story. And this story involved a very heavy metal door opening by itself. It was the night shift again, and uh, this time round, I was uh, detailed to be uh, the duty officer for the night. So as per normal, um, I have to take care of the security of uh, the entire base. And on this particular night, there are three other officers together with me in base. So as per normal, after doing all my duties, uh, after clearing all my paperwork and my email, I decided to take a break together with two other officers. So we made our way back to the foyer at the back of the um, building and this foyer where was, we were sitting at actually faced uh, the other building where our infamous um, haunted uh, locker room was located. So uh, at the side of this building there is this metal door for us to uh, enter and exit and this metal door is heavy. Uh, you have to really push it open uh, before you can um, go out. So uh, this particular door, on that particular night, um, it was a very still night. It was not the windy, and as you can imagine, metal door and wind doesn't really work with each other. Also, so we were sitting down and chatting with each other, you know, having our uh, coffee and. Uh, our chat sessions uh, when suddenly all three of us saw this metal door opening by itself we we were shocked all three of us were shocked we turned to each other and we we ask we ask each other like uh, did you did you see did you see the, the door opening did, did any one of you saw that right uh, you did right and all three of us saw the door opening by itself opening and closing by itself and um, mind you it was a still night there's no wind at all so it's impossible for the wind to be blowing uh, through the corridor of that particular building just to uh, move the door anyway it is a metal door so all of us decided to stop whatever we are doing you know um and immediately went into the building um uh, this particular incident uh only a few of us knew knew about it uh because we decided to uh to keep it a secret actually until tonight so now you know about the story of the metal door opening by itself This second story is about the ghost of a girl who drowned. This story took place many, many, many years ago when I was a trainer, when I was a dog trainer with the police canine unit. And in this particular incident, it happened actually in the daytime, which is surprisingly enough. Um, at that point of time, I was uh, a trainer to uh, a couple of um, dog trainers and uh, we were undergoing uh, an eight-week training, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, in within the group itself, there is this colleague of mine with the third eye. So in this particular uh, training session in the, in the afternoon, okay, we were doing uh, after training and all, uh, 
normally what we will do is that we will have a debriefing session. So uh, in this particular debriefing session, uh, we retrace back uh, whatever happened during the training, whatever uh, plus points uh, and uh, negative points. And um, this particular colleague of mine with the third eye, uh, he normally is very jovial. Okay, he will uh, uh, chat and, and, and um, crack jokes. But uh, in towards the end, actually, actually towards the end of the briefing, um, he suddenly went quiet, and um, I kind of like felt a bit weird, and uh, I kind of like uh, I don't know the vibe. The vibe uh, at that particular point of time is just not right. So um, looking at him. Uh, he kind of like gave me uh, the signal to just try, you know, try to cut it short. So I did. I did cut the training. I did cut the uh, debriefing short. And after that, I asked them all to disperse. After dispersing, um, I uh, went up to him and uh, no, and asked what actually happened back then uh, during the debriefing session and this was what this colleague of mine said um, well I uh, just now when um, we were debriefing when you were giving the debriefing uh, actually um, I saw that there's this girl standing behind you um, the only scary thing is that uh, she had her head down, um, hair, her hair was covering her face. Uh, the only weird part was that um, she's all wet. She looks wet. She looks as if like she drowned. And um, that was why I suddenly went quiet and uh, I, I never said anything. And yeah, so that was what he told me. Um, that there's this girl. Uh, I mean, he saw this girl with with his third eye um, standing behind me. And uh, to uh, make it a bit more. Uh, scary the area where our uh, base is located at it used to be a forested area so uh, we do not know actually what um, what was there before we only know that it's a forested area and um, as to whether there are any cases of uh, a girl drowning maybe there there, there was some um, Maybe back then um, there were uh, cases of uh, of a girl drowning, but we are not too sure. But that was what he saw: the ghost of a dead girl in the daytime. And those are the two stories for tonight. I do hope you are entertained. And come on back next week for episode 7. Till then, I'm Ghost. Ghost. <laughs>